Well, all right. I'm Dave Rat, and let's do the next video on comparing small format analog to digital console. Um, this will be kind of fun. We're going to check out overload states. What happens when we overdrive these consoles? Uh, I've done, I'm sure we've all seen people hitting those red lights on consoles and um, you know, we, we, it, and we've had uh, house techs, house engineers, club audio humans come in and say, hey, don't hit those clip lights or this is, you know, it's going to sound bad. Don't do that. Trying to keep our volumes down. And we've also struggled ourselves to stay out of the red or ignored the lights altogether. Let's take a look at what actually is happening and what it sounds like. Pick an arbitrary frequency. How about around 650? And let's bring it up. And you should be able to hear that there. I can hear it through these headphones just bleeding into the room here. Um, all right, so what we got here on this, you can see that we've got our two waveforms. Currently, we're looking at the analog console, and you can see that... Um, we are PFLing one channel, and we see our input waveform and output waveform are overlaid on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and move the um, input waveform up a little bit and the output waveform down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the gain. So right now we're at, I'll bring it down to start with. Right now the meters say that we are 0 dB. We've got two clean waves. Um, I'll bring this up. There's plus three, plus six, plus ten, which is the first set of red lights on the analog console. And um, the digital console goes from plus six to plus twelve. It hasn't hit the plus twelve yet. We're still seeing clean waveforms. Let's go ahead and open those up. And we'll go to um, plus 15, plus 16 is our next one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring these down. Uh, now we're seeing some, um, you can see these waveforms. You can hear it. I will um, mute my voice. Right around there. At... Um, what somewhere between plus 10 and plus 16 on the metering of the console. We are not clipping the input, but we are PFLing. That's on the output of the console and the PFL, which they're reading the same. Um, we are seeing, we're hearing and seeing the waveform slightly distort. And you can see that here with the top flattening off of the, um, what's interesting. Is are actually seeing it on the input and the output. So actually, I'm not even convinced it's the um, console at that point. I'll have to check that out. But that's going to be secondary to what we see. Um, yeah, we're seeing identical waveforms. Beautiful. So that switches over to digital console and I'll bring it up and I'll do the same thing. And here we are at plus six, plus 12, and we're looking good, sounding good. And look what happens here, right when we hit, this is the peak light hasn't lit yet, but we're starting to see this little node right at the top end of the waveform. Now the peak light's lit and it's lighting up across the board and that's a single channel. It's PFLing a single channel and I will go to I'll get that just to distort. And let's go back to the analog console. Analog at um, plus 10-ish 12-ish digital. So we're seeing two things. One, the analog is not distorting. 
at um, the same, this is a digital console is distorting at an earlier, at a lower level, and the amount of distortion between the two consoles is significantly different. Let's go ahead and find out where the analog console was distorting. And that's where we're starting to see some warpage of the waveform. And let's look at the digital consoles doing the same thing. And um, there you can obviously see that we have um, quite the square wave. Um, and the analog, digital. So uh, we were seeing with the analog, I was uh, overloading the input and the output. So it looks like there's something... Um, uh, I'm driving it so hard that um, the waveform that I'm reading for the send and the return, but the analog is actually holding it together. It's not um, changing, it's just doing what it's told to do, and the digital is not. Let's go ahead and try a different frequency and see if that, how that changes things. So this is 650. There's 300. In the analog and 300 in the digital. Let's go ahead where the digital is starting. Just where it's starting to mess up, there's the analog. All right. Let's bring this down. Let's take a look at the digital console. So now, the digital console right now looks very clean. And none of the peak lights are lit, we're at plus 12. So we don't have a single red light lit on the console. As soon as I break, right there, I'm seeing peak lights show up on channel one, two, and three, you know, the calibration of all these. And we're instantly seeing an extremely undesirable uh, distortion to the waveform. So just the hint of a peak light on this digital console is giving us a terrible sound. Um, let's see if we can do the same thing. Oh, let's go ahead and look down the line on this digital console. So now it's cha one channel, two, three, four. Let's get this other one out of the way. We'll just look at the output of the digital console. And there's one channel and that's with Turn it up to where we're seeing channel one. Okay, there's channel two. As I go down the line, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's changing throughout the, um, there's the clip mode of a um, digital console. Let's go ahead and do that same thing with the analog. Now I'm really slamming this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and go down the line on the analog console. I'm going to hit it really hard. And there's one channel, two, three. So that's a lot of channels on that analog console. Um, and the equivalent of the digital. Um, as you can tell, they're definitely reacting to being driven hard quite differently. Uh, let's take a look at something else. Uh, let's try... Ooh, I could do a input mic for you. I'm going to turn down the drive. And I'm going to turn up the analog console's input. That's what we're seeing, plus 16 on the analog console. And I'm continuing to go. Oh, 
let's look at that on the, let's, how much voltage are we putting out here? Uh, volts per division, we're looking at five volts, so it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25 volts, over 25 volts peak to peak on the analog console. Uh, let's do that same thing on the digital. Let's go here and PFL and turn up the gain. And there we are at 5, 10, 15, about 18 volts, and we are square waving. And we're seeing a different um, distortion now uh, that we're over now we're overloading the mic preamp versus overloading somewhere else in the circuit, or maybe the output. Or, um, and as I turn, that's a beautiful square wave, though. Um, that's a perfect square wave. And doing the same thing in the analog domain. So we got a lot more output, and the sound of that difference. Let's take a look at something else. Um, let's go high. Let's do something in the 16K region. Turn it up. And let's send that to Set about the same as it was, digital. That's interesting. We have a high tone, but when we turn it up, we get a low note to it. Let's turn up the game. That's some pretty stuff with that clip. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on the analog console. And I don't know how much I'll subject you to of all that uh, via the YouTube and how much will come through. Um, out of all this, out of all the stuff that I've done and the nuances we've seen, this is an order of magnitude or more, many orders of magnitude more drastic. Here is the true challenge, difference, and caveat to, or, or what you have to be careful with with digital consoles. To run a digital console into overload and allow that traumatic distortion of the signal to be introduced to your mix is one of the absolute worst things you can do. If you can't keep your gain structure in play and keep everything well out of the red on a digital console, um, you should either switch to an analog console, it gives you more forgiving, or you're going to have uh, significant negative ramifications. It'll make your mix sound like shit. Um, this, to be honest, is one of the biggest problems that I see with engineers mixing digital as either they've come out of analog and they're used to a console being forgiven, forgiving, or they just don't realize how detrimental overloading the inputs of a digital console are. Um, all right, that's it for now. I might do another video on this digital analog uh, comparison. Um, this may be a wrap up. I haven't really found anything else too interesting, but before I tear the setup down, I'll give it another look over. And um, cool. Thank you for joining and um, ask me any questions. Let me know. Cool, cool.